profitable to us, not profitable to God, and take us to the very top of quality of life. Now, let's go to Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. This is the Edekai Mary. Matthew 3, yeah. verse 11. Okay. Hoy a la verdad, os bautizo en agua para arrepentimiento, pero el que viene tras de mí, cuyo calzado yo no soy digno de llevar es más poderoso que yo él os bautizará en el Espíritu Santo y fuego la palabra del Señor se ha leído Amén Amén That was the reading of Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 in Spanish by uh, my covenant partner in Washington State. Thank you very much, Miss M. Thank you. <laughs> what did What did you say that they were What did you say they started calling you when you were when you were walking in that uh, in that place? They call you uh, Mother Maria. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Yes, they did. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, let's go on. This is the Dikai Mary School of the Word, where I teach the Word of God, verse by verse, word by word, and by revelation. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I baptize you with water for repentance. So let's go there. John the announcer did something that showed that the people have accepted the advancement of the kingdom of God in the now. That was symbolized by him dipping people in water. Water was a typology of the spoken word that cleanses people. 
water is what we use to wash our clothes, what we use to, uh, to cook our food. We use water for so many things. The word of God is like water. It can be used for so many quality things. The word of God is not just something that you teach, proclaim, preach. The word of God is more than that. There is the power side of the word of God. Because God is his word and his word is him. Depending on if the spirit of God that inspired the world is involved. That's all that makes the difference. John said, John the announcer began to tell the people, there is more to this ceremony than what you are seeing. Somebody is coming. What I am doing, I am preparing for the boss. The boss is coming. He is the one that I am doing all this for. This water signifies that you have accepted a new lifestyle with God and with human beings and with yourself. You've made peace with God. You've made peace with yourself. You've made peace with humans. And you've rejected the old lifestyle that doesn't profit you, nor God, nor other human beings. Filthiness in any form of it is not part of the heavenly program. But then he said to them, the water, the ritual of water can only happen when repentance has happened. But there is more to repentance and, and water baptism. But he who is coming, somebody is coming. God is specific. Somebody is coming. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I. See the difference between the, the destroyer, the accuser, and John the Baptist. John acknowledged the almightiness of him that is coming. That is Jesus. But Lucifer did not acknowledge that he did not give glory to Jesus. John did. Lucifer didn't. Two big differences. Jesus is mightier than myself. All that I'm doing is for him, not for me. That's what John was saying. I am doing this for him. And he is coming. He is the bigger boss. He is mightier than myself. You thought you've seen a prophet, you've seen nothing yet. You thought you've seen a healer, you've seen nothing yet. He is coming, the mighty one. Mightier than myself. Until you accept your place in divine government and economy, you can never proceed. You can never move forward. Whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. See? Where do we find that kind of meekness? is spoken about with Moses 
it is spoken about with Abraham saving food to the angels. That's where we hate about that kind of mentality. Hmm. We hear about it in Jesus. Don't call me good. Even though he's God, he did not make himself to be while he is son of man here on earth. He humbled himself. What a humility. That's interesting. Isn't it? He is not even worthy of carrying the, of being a servant, a slave. He's saying, I am not even worthy of being the slave of the mighty one. Or the one that is coming after me. He will do what? My partner from um, from um, from Washington, finish that reading. I want to hear it from you, please. In Spanish or in English? In English. Okay, in English. Verse 11. Do you want me to read the whole phrase? Um, yeah, verse, verse 11 only. I indeed baptized you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, mm -hmm. whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He's not even worthy to be a servant of this man that is coming. To show you how big, how mighty, when we say big, in African language, we mean we don't talk about being obese. We are talking of greatness. How famous. How powerful. How rich. How wealthy. Influential. Unsurpassed. Unlimited. Go on. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay. Where the Lord has he will baptize you to show you how great he is. He carries with him since he himself carries the spirit. He himself will baptize you. You who have received repentance and water baptism you will also receive another kind of baptism. See, different levels of baptism. He that is mighty is only the one that is mighty that is able to do mighty baptism. Spirit baptism is a higher form of baptism. He will pour upon you the Spirit as a form of baptism. Not only that, he will also baptize you with fire, another degree of elevation of baptism. Water, after repentance, water, then spirit baptism, then fire baptism. Three. Hmm. The church has limited itself to water, and that's it. And that is why real power left the church. Because real power begins after the entrance into water. After repentance, real power begins. You see, after the death of Jesus, he is said in Romans chapter 1 verse 4, being declared son of God with power you will never be a son or daughter of God with power see there, there's two differences you can be a son or daughter of God after repentance and you remain there but not with power 
the power side of being a son of God comes with the presence of the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Until he rose from the dead, every power in hell and on earth now knew they are dealing with God. Until you died to the former lifestyle and you are serious about it, then when the spirit baptism is received by you, what happened? You now become a son or daughter of God in power with power. Until you're ready to let go of certain things, God is not willing to invest power into you. God will only invest power into those who know that there is more. And that more is spirit and fire. We are sons of spirit. We were born of spirit and fire. <laughs> that is the work of Jesus. See, Jesus has different work that he does. Not just the cross. But, from the point of the resurrection, the resurrection of Jesus is the place of power. Paul says, I want to know him and the power of his resurrection. Until we identify with Jesus completely by letting go what he said we should let go, then the power is not demonstrated. The atmosphere of heaven is not introduced. That's true. You are entitled to become a son and daughter of spirit, of the Holy Ghost. And Jesus is the baptizer with the Holy Spirit and fire. For you to defeat Satan and all his hosts, defeat human beings and all the intelligence, you need spirit and fire baptism. For you to be successful in life, you need spirit and fire baptism. For you to be able to be effective in ministry, to be effective in marriage, in raising kids, in your business, you need spirit and fire baptism. Because the production of quality starts with the invitation of the Spirit. Let's enjoy a little bit of music and then we will continue. <laughs> my YouTube videos like them go to the Kaimeris Ministries like us join me on Twitter join me on Facebook 
And remember, I'm teaching you for free. So I pray that you will help me do global mission by your financial support and prayers. Go to the Kai Mary's Ministries and donate online, contribute online. It's right there for you, so easy. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me for today's program, the Kai Mary's School of the Word. And I want to thank you, my wonderful lady from Washington uh, State. And uh, thank you very much for being with me. Let's pray. Dear Father, as many as are, was, are looking forward to our spirit baptism, baptize them with the Spirit and let them be filled with power. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Fill your people with fire. If you want God to baptize you with the Holy Spirit, straight forth your hand and touch my hand. Father, let them receive what you've given to us, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and fire and joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah.